now do I recommend owners feed their dogs? I recommend it through our training, through guessing, dressing for our six things reward, guessing for anything else that we're working on with the dog, as well as uh, meals in which the dog gets anywhere between 15 and 30 minutes. And that amount of time is gonna vary based on your household, like how much time do you have to put the food down? It might be 15 minutes, might be 20, 25, 30, no more than 30 minutes tops. Um, a 15 to 30 minute gap of time where the food is down is not going to turn any dog into a dog who just gulps food like it's going to go away. So we're going to give it out plenty of time to eat, even if it's a slow eating dog, and then the food's going to go away. So for puppies, I recommend feeding three times a day, uh, morning, noon, and evening. And for adult dogs, I recommend feeding twice a day. And so we're going to put that food down for 15 to 30 minutes, and then we're going to take the food up. And we're not gonna we're not gonna put the bowl back down, we're not gonna leave it out, we're gonna take it up. No healthy dog will starve themselves. So if the dog is healthy, has no underlying medical conditions, the dog will not starve themselves. They will learn to eat on a schedule. So we're teaching the dog the concept of opportunity. And so one of the best examples I learned of the concept of opportunity many years ago um, was this one. So imagine uh, a hawk. Around here in Illinois, we have quite a bit of red-tailed hawks. So we'll use that as an example. And so you got a red-tailed hawk who's hanging up in a tree, or hanging out in a tree, and it's looking around, and it's going, okay, you know, I'm looking for dinner, and it spots a mouse. That red-tailed hawk is probably going to more likely do one of these two options than the other. So one option could be, well, it's looking down at the mouse, going, Oh, I'll just wait for the next one. You know, whatever. There's going to be another mouse that's going to call along. Or another option is the hawk might go, oh, we better figure out how to catch that mouse. And they're going to try to catch that particular mouse at that time. More likely, it's going to be the second thing they're going to do. They're not probably going to purposely pass up a, a mouse opportunity to get a meal. They might be hungry. They might have chicks they need to feed. Um, you know, they need that food. And so we want our dogs to understand the same concept, that, that concept of opportunity, that they need to eat when there's an opportunity. It doesn't mean we want a dog who wants to eat so badly that they're just gulfing everything down, but we want a dog who has food drive, and a dog that wants to work for the food, and then we can use the food to help train the dog, and you know, train it for either changing the emotional state of the dog, change it to work on behavioral issues like reactivity or aggression, or train the dog to work on, you know, obedience things. And so we're teaching that concept of opportunity. We put the food down for 15 to 30 minutes, then the food comes up. Of course, when we're not doing bowl feeding, we're doing guessing. But again, just like we've talked about in previous posts and videos, uh, we understand that everyone has a life and there's times you just have to get up, feed the dog, and maybe go off to work, or get up, feed the dog, and go run some errands. And you've got, you know, you wanna make sure the dog obviously gets fed, but you're not gonna be home enough to guess at that time going to feed the dog 15 20 minutes pick up i usually advise starting that in a crate um, so that the dog can't just wander away and wander off from the food and then the food just magically disappears um, usually I'll, I'll put the food in the crate or put the dog in the crate and then bring the food to him and then when the 15 to 20 minutes is up i'll typically take the dog out of the crate and then remove the food um, that just kind of helps why the dog's not constantly seeing me come take their bowl from them so that is kind of how we advise owners to feed their food and why we do it that way.